Hello, my name is Dale Wilhite. I live at the Brant's Clummer in Mountain Village, Colorado. Now, if you find out anything about me, you can go to MySpace where I have a page. This here is a concept about something I call a closet vault. A closet vault is a place that would, if it became a reality and were built, and they were built into the homes, trailers and so forth, throughout America, uh, is a place for uh, the homeowners and people within, you know, like your spouses and uh, friends, to flee to in the event there is a home invasion in progress. Or if there's a threat, let's say some ladies at home and her ex-boyfriend or ex-husband or current husband, whether separated or whatever, has gone psycho and threatening to kill her, she can flee and hide, hide inside of there. The closet vault doesn't necessarily mean it would be in like the master bedroom. It could be in the living room, it could be in the kitchen, it can be anywhere. It would, it would have to be determined by the uh, people who build these homes. But the uh, closet vault is what I call it. What I call it is the size of a regular, let's say, big closet. It and it has a steel door, just like a regular bank door. Maybe not as maybe not as you know big, but it has to it has to be strong enough that if I take a 357 Magnum and I pump into it or take a shotgun like a 20 gauge or a, well it's 20 gauge it's only a single shot, 16 gauge or a 12 gauge pump. I'm not going to be able to get in through that door. Okay, it's going to be it's going to be it's too strong. I have no way I can get them in there. I can get in there. I can I can't even set it on fire. Of course, I can set the house on fire, but I couldn't set the vault on that door on fire. But anyway, the idea is ha is to create something, build something into homes throughout America, where the homeowners and I said the spouses, friends, or whoever's in the home can flee to in the in the event there is a home invasion in progress. If they can get to that vault and get in there and close the door, they're pretty much safe. Now, once they're inside, a light comes on or they can hit the little string and pull the light on, and right in front of them is a red phone. That red phone only goes one place. It only it, Once you pick it up, it dials 911 right away. And about the time you get in there, the minute you pick it up and the operator comes on, they it, the way it sh the system should run is that your address should automatically pop up right there. No, and that will let the uh, 911 operator know exactly where you're at and who you are and can begin summoning police because when you pick up and call that phone, you're not calling to make an order to Burger King. You're you're in trouble. Do you see what I'm saying? This is the fastest way in in the world to save lives of uh, people in their own homes in the event there's a home invasion in progress and this could also save the lives of a lot of kids who are home alone. And it makes it possible for the police to know who it is, you know, or at least where the home is, who the homeowner is, and that they're in trouble. And I'm in there, I'm running there. As soon as I pick up that phone, it's going to dial 911 right away, and I can call and tell them exactly what's going on. And before the burglar or the home or whoever's trying to break into my home, uh, here it would be an apartment, um, even before they, they even know I'm in there possibly, the police are already on their way. Do you see what I'm getting at? This is what how we can go about saving thousands of lives each year. I don't know how many, but but it, it would probably be in the thousands. And it would maybe just drop a little bit of a necessity for people to have to keep a gun in their home, even though there's no guarantee. You know, you have to be able to make it to that vault in time. And so there's a lot of scenarios that you can you can think about about how this could work and if it would work and. Sometimes it probably wouldn't work, but the but the odds of survival have gone up if you have something like this in your home. Now, as I said, once you're inside that vault, there's a little light that comes on and a red phone, and you're called in. Now, in some some of these homes, if it's in a home, let's say, uh, possibly or on the ground floor somewhere, there may be a there's there's there may be a door that takes makes it possible for that person to actually go outside the home. Um, that would have to be something contractors and home builders and would all have to get together and figure out how they could do that, you know, because you also don't want the person to come out and try to come in through that way. But that's a possibility. And of course, there has to be air vents up in there from, that come from the outside. So whatever the vault is, it has to be built on the side. And there's a possibility that reinforcements inside that wall there are going to be neat, are going to be necessary, so the per, so the no one can come outside and shoot into that house knowing you're in there and you end up being the sitting target. So it's got to withstand, you know, big blasts and, and so and, uh, shotgun shells, shotgun bullets, 357 magnums, uh, bullets, and so forth. 
But that's, I'm just providing you a foundation to what can happen, what could be done to save a lot of lives. Because when I lived in Vegas, you know, hearing of home invasions and people being murdered and raped after, uh, during these home invasions was quite common, and it's still common today. Uh, and it's common all over America. But this is one way that we can begin to take a tiny little bite out of crime throughout America. And this should be something that should be built into all future homes in America. And those who have the money can have it built now. And maybe the government can, one day when they get back on their feet, the states, not the federal, but the state governments might be able to help out middle class and poor people have the same uh, protection. You, know, you, shouldn't just, you shouldn't get this automatically because you're rich. Uh, you know, uh, a human life is, is valuable no matter what you're, whether you're rich, middle class, or poor. Black, white, yellow, absolutely means nothing. You're, you're valuable. God made you so you're valuable. That's how home invasions can be stopped. But the same thing applies to office buildings, you know. Uh, we've heard of, like, the Virginia Tech shootings. Remember, the guy goes crazy and starts shooting all these students. Why couldn't these students get away? Because they had nowhere to run. They had nowhere to hide. These schools should have a place for these kids to go where they can close the door. He can shoot all he wants into that door, but he ain't getting in. They need to be creative. In office buildings, you know, each floor should have a vault where if, if, the, if people can make it to that vault, they might be safe. It has to be, it has to be well designed. This isn't something that's going to be simple. For office buildings, it's going to be a lot tougher. But if it saves one life, it's one life saved, and it's worth the cost. That's why these office buildings and, and colleges are so easy targets for these mass murders and idiots and these demon-possessed people. To me, they're demon-possessed anyway. It's because... There's, they know there's really nowhere for you to run or hide. You know, unless you can hide in the city. You know, then you gotta be, you gotta. That's gonna take some doing, though. You have to have a place to run. You have to have a place to hide, where once you get there, that person cannot get cannot get in there. Again, it's gonna take some creativity. You know, because you can't have one person run in there, close the door, and then everybody else trying to get in, and they can't get in because the person inside ain't gonna open the door. So it has to be, they have to come up with a way to make it possible for people to get in there, but where the government cannot, and that's going to take some creativity. I don't have time to go into what I think might be the problem, um, be the solution, but it can be done if, if they're creative enough. And you, with six billion people on the planet, I think we've got somewhere, somehow, somebody out there has got to be creative enough to come up with an idea to solve that problem. But anyway, you, I wanted to provide the foundation to my concept, you know, and I still think it would be a good one, and it would save a lot of lives. I hope you like it, and hope you will uh, pitch it to other people, pitch it to your congressional rep representative. Get it, get the foundation built, get this idea out there throughout America, and maybe somewhere, somewhere, long, someone will hear it, have the ability to make it a reality, and then we can see the beginning of something that I think would be great in the future and could save a lot of lives, especially children and women. Thank you for your time.